What is up guys, Whitey by me here, and today we have a collection update video, or I should say in this video, because today is not going to be today, <laughs> later. But in this video, we have a collection update video. These are not gonna be, there's not gonna be a lot of these because I already have most of what I want in my collection, but I'm thinking of starting a Japanese only collection or like doing like European imports and stuff, and like certain cases and stuff. But right now I'm only focusing on picking up stuff that I really, really wanted years ago that I couldn't get. And I've been hunting and hunting and hunting. And I finally got most of what I wanted that for the longest time. There's like two more things that I really, really want, which is like um, Resident Evil 3 for or rap, Japanese Resident Evil 3 for PlayStation 1 and Japanese Resident Evil 2. But I'm finding those. It's kind of hard for, for like trying to find one that's being sold by a U.S. seller. It takes a minute to find. So right now let's get right into this so we have resident Evil code veronica dreamcast japanese i got this just for the sleeve i've always wanted this ever since i've seen it and i'm like damn like it is so beautiful it is so beautiful and i found one from a u.s seller on ebay and i picked it up immediately like i'm so happy to have this it is so beautiful it feels so good this is like some really like grainy plastic it feels like textured it feels really nice the back is in english claire redfield who arrived in raccoon city in, to search for her lost brother chris and a rookie police officer leon's leon s kennedy managed to escape from the city but their ordeal was only a prelude to things to come something like that uh it is beautiful this is a beautiful ass case i don't know why we didn't get beautiful stuff like this in the u.s still to this day like the japanese has better looking things than everybody else but yeah this is this is nice i guess i guess this is the trade-off since um japanese since in japan they always have to wait a little while for their stuff to come out before they can get it so that i guess the trade-off is they get really beautiful looking stuff so i am very happy to have this and i can't believe i was like talking so much i spit on the corner of the case <laughs> yeah i'm very happy to have that that's like my favorite thing in my collection my resin with long box used to be my favorite thing in my collection but um that cold veronica is yeah that's up there now uh, Resident Evil 5, again, I have so many Resident Evil 5s, and there's going to be another one coming up soon. But on um, this one, I only got it, really, because of the sleeve. I saw the sleeve for Resident Evil 5 at GameStop around, like, 10, 11 years ago. And I couldn't get it at the time. It was, like, 40 bucks for a Gold Edition uh, Xbox 360 with the sleeve. And when I tried looking for those later on, I could not find any Resident Evil 5s, Gold with the sleeve even on amazon if you buy resident Evil 5 you know, on amazon it doesn't come with the sleeve it just comes with the game wrapped in plastic it doesn't come with this at least the ones that i've bought haven't came with they just come with the game wrapped in plastic so i'm like okay how do, i need to go on ebay and keep like stalking ebay until somebody shows one so one pops up with a sleeve and one popped up with a sleeve for like 12 bucks and i took that immediately so i've always wanted this it looks really freaking nice it's holographic or shiny it's freaking beautiful i'm so happy to have this and next we have like i said we got another we got more resident Evil 5 coming we have resident Evil 5 still book this is beautiful and i've wanted this for so many years and i kept putting it off putting it off putting it off and then it kind of like disappeared and then it came back and i'm like ah should i get it and then i decided to get like after contemplating and i decided to get it and then it's gone and it's just back and forth so finally, I decided to just go on eBay. Like I thought about it, I just went on eBay and I just got it. So I'm very happy to have this. This is my favorite thing ever related to Resident Evil 5. I know there's like a Japanese um, big, like there's a big box of Japanese, it's like a humongous box. I was like, I think it's some, some kind of like Resident Evil 5 collector's edition, like something like that. It's a Japanese um, import thing, Yuma Bob. I don't really remember what it, what it is. But um, I think it comes with Resident Evil 5, like a standard Resident Evil 5, or it comes with um, this, it comes with Gold Edition, but it's like the blue, instead of gold, it's like the bluish tint. It's like the, um, how it looks on PS5, I think. I think it comes with like the eye move or something. I can't remember. But um, yeah, I might go for that next. But yeah, I'm very happy to have this. Next, we have Resident Evil. Uh, what is it? Resident Evil Gun Survivor Cold Veronica 2, or in Japanese is Gun Survivor 2 Biohazard Cold Veronica. This game I've wanted for a really long time as well, and this took a very long time to get here, because this came straight from Japan, and 
I'm never doing that again. I am going to hunt down Japanese or yeah, Japanese imports being sold by US sellers. So I don't have to go through that again. So it takes a really, really long time. I'm happy to have this game. This game is freaking goofy. I have it installed on my PlayStation 2 using uh, free Mac boot and basically rip the game off of this, put it on a hard drive or put it on the USB, then put it into your computer's um, HDD or put it into your PlayStation 2's HDD. And I'm able to play this game by just ripping it from the disc, putting it into my PlayStation with the free Mac boot and I can play this game even though it's a Japanese game, which is freaking awesome. So I'm gonna do that for all of my Japanese games. Well, the ones that are on, for, on PlayStation. Um, I might have to buy Japanese Dreamcast if I wanna enjoy some of the other Japanese games that I have for Dreamcast. But anyway, yeah, this game is freaking funny. It has its issues. Like the main issue with this game is how you're going down steps and enemies wait at the end of the steps and then they fuck you up when you get at the end. Other than that, this game is a, tr uh, a ton of fun. A ton of fun. Even playing on controllers, a ton. I mean, no, turning's weird because you have to use the bumpers, but this game is a lot of fun. I seem to be the only person in the world that likes the Gun Survivor series. Like, my favorite one is Dead Aim. Uh, next we have, or lastly we have, the Resident Evil uh, or Biohazard Revival Selection. Now, a friend of mine, Paul, gave me this. I will link his channel in the description below so you can check him out. I've always wanted this. I've always wanted this. And it's crazy because I was thinking about getting this. And he said, I'm sending you a surprise. I'm like, okay, um, I'll wait for it. And I get I finally get in the mail and I open it. I was like, it's, res it's freaking Biohazard <laughs> Revival Selection. I've been wanting this for a really long time because it has the physical version of Resident Evil Cove Veronica. This is, yeah, this is physical Resident Evil Cove Veronica on the better port. Like on PlayStation 4, it's the PlayStation 2, or yeah, PlayStation 4, 4 it's the PlayStation 2 version. But on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, they have the, the HD version that has dynamic shadows, uh, better textures. I mean, it's dark as hell, but the game just looks way better on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 version. And I don't know why they didn't take this one and put it on the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 4. I don't know why they didn't do that. They just took the, they literally took the PlayStation 2 part and put on a PlayStation 4. Why would you do that? But I'm very happy to have this because I love Code Veronica on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 because it looks absolutely like, it's just amazing. It looks fucking gorgeous. So I'm really happy to have this. I do need to get a PlayStation 3 so I can freaking play it as mine's broke. But um, yeah, I'm very, very happy to have this. I'm so glad the PlayStation 3 is not region locked. So when I do get one, I can stream this and have a ton of fun with the best looking Code Veronica out there. So. If you guys like this video, leave a comment, like the video. If you didn't like the video, tell me why you didn't like the video, and I'll get with you guys in the comments down below. Peace.